Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got something very interesting for a OnePlus user like myself because this time I've got the unofficial CyanogenMod 13 by Sultan XDA so stay tuned for that. So guys, in case you are new to the OnePlus scene, well, I was, but um, Sultan XDA is a legendary guy in the OnePlus scene and he was responsible for many developments in the OnePlus One and I guess OnePlus Two also. So having him develop a CyanogenMod 13 ROM for the OnePlus Three is really great news for us and uh, let's get started now. First of all, uh, if you go through the forums and the forum post, you will understand that this is basically a Sanjay mod ROM. But the main focus of this video even is going to be the camera module, which he claims, and well, we'll see into it, that has improved the camera quality. Uh, because let's face it, we all have used CyanogenMod, of course, I think so at least. And we have found out that CyanogenMod camera is not really comparable to the Oxygen OS one. Well, it is almost there, but still it's not quite there. If you see my upcoming video upon the differences between the CyanogenMod camera and the Oxygen OS camera on the OnePlus 3, you will notice there is going to be a difference, so stay tuned for that also. So after the plug let's get started on the uh, review now first of all in the about phone page you can see this is a oneplus 3 and it is android version it is by sultan xda from the oneplus 3 this is the stable version uh, stability of this is kind of something which i have to discuss uh, api level is this one figure 5 august security patches and all that all that is available the kernel is something which uh, he developed for this uh, rom and that is pretty amazing being a cyanogenmod 13 rom it has almost all the features which you would expect out of a cyanogenmod 13 rom so you have all of these controls uh, for the sounds vibration intensity controller display and lights you have live display now the live display is uh, quite toned down rather than on the full blown cyanogenmod roms uh, color calibration is available the uh, slider for the reduced uh, screen output battery life is uh, missing but on the forums he does mention that it's enabled by uh, default so you do have that uh, ambient display is available with ambient display settings so you don't have to worry about that fun size I'll keep something more so that you can see it does have LCD density changer notification light can be customized all of this is available so that is pretty amazing it does have theme support so being a mode uh, ROM you do have that heads up notification can be enabled or disabled notification access is there button settings are available which is a standard mode feature you do have all these buttons for power button, home button, recent button and volume button where you have playback controls and keyboard cluster controls which is amazing. You do have additional buttons where the alert slider can be customized and the alert slider is working so that is pretty amazing. Gestures are available which is the basic uh, options in Oxygen OS which is ported over to the Cyanogen world. This is the ambient display options where you have tilt, uh, where you have tilt sensor settings and proximity sensor with pocket mode which I personally use a lot of times so that is also amazing. Battery life. The ROM in its stock form comes underclocked for a better battery life and uh, better heat dissipation that I would say. Uh, this is by the developer himself. Now in my usage I have used this for some time now and uh, in my use case scenarios yes the screen and the phone doesn't get heated up as much as it used to with any other Cyanogen mod ROM. That is true. But the battery life, I didn't find much improvement in the battery life in the time I have used this. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Let's just uh, keep it at that. It is just the same as what I would expect out of any other Cyanogen mod 13 ROM. Not the best. And uh, not not something close to pure CM either because pure CM gave me a really really good battery life. Uh, nothing special like that. But the heat is something which uh, is under control which I can watch for. So yeah, keep that in mind. I actually try to run uh, both um, both the scripts. I actually install the underclock version and then there is a script available on the XDA forums where you, which you can flash and get the uh, underclocking to be disabled so you can use that now there's something else which I want to talk about 
that is about the stability of this ROM. Now, this is probably my fourth uh, reinstall of the same ROM. I have downloaded the zip file again just to make sure that isn't the case. I got reboot issues with this ROM. It use it it's it's rebooting randomly uh, whenever mostly whenever it has a high workload like playing games or uh, running a benchmark or something like that. Now rest everything is about same as you would expect out of any other Cyanogen mod ROM. You do have uh, all of these options available. This DOM does not come with the Super Su script. If you do want that, you do have to flash the Super Su script manually so that you can use super screw i have and uh, that works pretty nicely so that is it upon the settings menu now let's get to the main course that is the camera now i have been testing the camera in uh, normal situations and uh, i will include a few pictures from other cm roms just for comparison sake but uh, let's get started with the main stuff now this is a photograph which i took from outside and it should be pretty obviously very well lit area and it shouldn't have much grains but well there are uh, quite a lot of noise here and there uh, in the dark areas especially you can see there are quite a lot of noise which I'm pretty sure you can see of course yeah there is a noise there are quite a bit of noise here anyways so that is a very well lit shot I just want to show you guys uh, different pictures and um, in a very well lit shot it doesn't really crop up too much it's not much of an issue uh, there it, it is quite usable the photos are quite usable you can see in the darker areas uh, there is quite lit quite a bit of noise and stuff like that which is available here so yeah just so you guys know this is an indoor shot with a brightly lit subject and this is where I'm seeing a lot of difference now this in the uh, just a CM ROM, any other CM ROM will be totally noisy. It does have a lot of noise, and I will be showing you guys a uh, pictures from my test review. And that is uh, pretty much great. I I really am uh, seeing a lot of improvement in this one. Even even fr uh, coming from a Cyanogen mod ROM, there are improvements. Of course, it's not as good as the Axion OS, but still, improvement is an improvement. Now, this is a photo with the flash on, and you can see there are overexposed stuff here and there, uh, but still, it doesn't have chroma flash, and the uh, camera software seems to be something uh, which is quite old and uh, it doesn't have much options. It doesn't have auto HDR. Uh, all that stuff is missing even from a Google camera. I, I don't have auto HDR. Is the camera better? Yeah, the camera is better in most sense. But is it better than Oxygen OS or is it matching Oxygen OS? Not really. It's not there yet, but still it's uh, almost good enough. So yeah, let's get to the other stuff. Now, another issue I had with Cyanogen Mod ROMs is its compatibility with third-party camera apps. So let's see how that goes. So you do you do have an, uh, this is auto mode, so that should take a pretty good photograph. And you can see, I have taken a photograph. You can see there are a bit of noise here and there, uh, but that is expected in an in indoor shot. But if I take a photograph in a uh, dimmed condition, let me just turn off the lights. So if I try and take a photograph in a dim condition, uh, right now using a flash, it just doesn't take a photo. Yeah, it didn't take a photograph, it's the old photo and this, yeah, it didn't take a photograph and that is an issue I have been facing uh, in other CM ROMs also. So that seems to be continuing here. So yeah, kind of disappointed in that. Now another option uh, problem which I have been facing with another application is called Chi Chimera is that um, this one this is the same photograph as you see here this is the same set and it causes a bit of overblown photographs because of the flash that is not something which I really really like now it causes a lot of problems like the overblown flash uh, which is mainly on uh, other third party applications which uh, well again kind of disappointing but the stock camera experience has improved and that is a good thing and it is definitely a step in the right direction and I really really do like that. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, let me show you guys the Android benchmark score which is, uh, well, as you would expect, this is with the, uh, the, with the underclocking disabled so that you can see that and uh, with, the under, uh, with the underclocking enabled that is about 128,000 so yeah, not the best score but still. I guess that much is it about the ROM. In conclusion, this is what I want to say about this ROM. 
the camera module has definitely improved and it is a great improvement over the other Sajama ROMs but still there is a long way to go and this is a step in the right direction and good job Sultan XDA for having this thing ready and uh, I hope and I wish you all the best for the future and hopefully you can get this right so yeah thanks I guess that much is about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye